Desmond the drag kid is once again in the news after his family announced on Instagram they had been investigated by Child Protective Services as well as other law enforcement agencies that deal with abuse and exploitation. They said after a wave of complaints, they received announced and unannounced visits by law enforcement to their home and Desmond's school. Now, the complaints likely came after video emerged of Desmond performing on stage, removing clothing in exchange for money from the audience. In fact, there are many videos of this even on YouTube. And we're facing something really interesting in our society. Right now on YouTube, innocent content produced by families and by children is being deemed inappropriate because there may be some kind of child exploitation in the comment section, meaning nothing to do with the actual content of the videos, the behavior of people in comments. Yet at the same time, we have children on stage removing clothing in exchange for money, but this is deemed acceptable for some reason. Today, let's take a look at the latest news on Desmond the Drag Kid and other drag kids and how people react to innocent YouTube comments in the completely opposite way that they do to drag performing children. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our new channel, youtube.com slash subverse videos. The goal of Subverse is to produce straight lace news, expert interviews, and on the ground reporting, and remove to the best of our abilities the bias and spin from the news. If you want to support these videos, just share them on social media to help spread the message. Our first story from the Daily Wire. Mother of 11-year-old drag kid who performed at gay bar says Child Protective Services showed up at her home. As reported by the Daily Wire in December, Desmond dressed in full drag, danced in a sexually suggestive manner on stage at a New York City-based gay bar called Three Dollar Bill. As Desmond took off his jacket, howling men in the audience handed him dollar bills, as one might see at a strip club. The Daily Wire confirmed the existence of the disturbing performance, but has chosen not to link the exploitative footage. Since the incident, authorities have been asked by concerned citizens to investigate the family for abuse. According to LifeSite News, Child Protective Services investigated Desmond's family, as did the New York City Administration of Child Services, the New York Police Department, the Child Advocacy Center, the Center for Missing and Exploited Children, the Department of Labor, and the district's attorney's office. The boy's mother said in a post that authorities have claimed the abuse allegations are unfounded. Wendy evidenced this with screenshots of such determinations via social media. We have been accused of child abuse, exploitation, and maltreatment to the point that we have been backed into a corner trying to defend ourselves, she said. Fashioning herself the victim, we have been under a microscope since early December. I never thought I would have to breach my own privacy and confidentiality to provide proof that has been demanded of us out of malice, she added. ACS has investigated us thoroughly, the mother continued. Because of the number of reports they received, our case went all the way to the governor's office, We had announced visits and unannounced visits to our home nearly daily and at all hours and Desmond's school. Our family was probed more intensely than any other case before. All allegations were unfounded. On the plus side, ACS has been offering us many support services. Desmond's YouTube channel depicts several videos where the 11-year-old removes his clothing and then accepts money from the audience. This has been likened by many people to stripping or at the very least grooming Desmond to become a stripper. Many people said this is just a drag performance and it's not stripping, but I want to make sure it's clear to everybody. Not all strip clubs, not all jurisdictions allow women to be fully nude. In fact, many strip clubs require women to be wearing their underwear at all times. Women then remove some of their clothing in exchange for money and they remain fully clothed. If we're going to compare that to what Desmond is doing, then yes, Desmond is stripping his clothing in exchange for money from the audience. Desmond is amazing on YouTube is a rather small channel, but we can see there are many videos where Desmond performs what they call a drag performance. I'm choosing to show this video of Desmond dressed as Gwen Stefani because many of them, in my opinion, are particularly offensive. But here we can see Desmond is accepting cash from the audience while dancing on stage. In other videos, he actually does remove his clothing in exchange for the money. Criticism of what Desmond is doing is not new. In fact, in 2015, Yahoo published this article. Mom of eight-year-old gay pride marcher responds to critics. There was plenty to marvel at during the New York City pride march on Sunday, but one precocious eight-year-old boy stood out from the crowd. Desden Napolis of Brooklyn, who joyously strutted and vogued his way down Fifth Avenue in a rainbow tutu and gold sequined cap. And when critics reared their heads on social media Monday, suggesting his participation was inappropriate, mom Wendy Lou Napolis shut them down with grace and pride. If you are offended, don't look, Napolis wrote, in part in a lengthy post on a Facebook page of LGBT website New Now Next. That's where a photo of Desmond, nicknamed Desi, had sparked nearly 5,000 likes and more than 200 comments. 
some of them attacking Napolis for allowing even forcing her son to be on such blatantly gender fluid display. In her Facebook post, Napolis explains that Desmond has been feminine from day one and that he likes toys from trains to Barbies, prefers ballet to sports, and enjoys playing dress up in skirts and dresses. He is a shy boy who is self-conscious about his missing teeth when he smiles and very intelligent, she notes. He doesn't like school because he gets bullied, but he does well academically. She and Andrew do their best to stop the bullying, she explains, and keep him involved in the LGBT community because we believe that by speaking to other people who were like him when they were his age reinforces that he is of value and that his life as he wants to live it is okay. It's kind of interesting to look at a post from several years ago and look at what Desmond is doing today. Dancing at an LGBT pride march is entirely acceptable, and the family was right to push back on the criticism. If this young child wants to dance around and be in a march, by all means, they should be allowed to. But there's a big difference between dancing at a pride march, getting on stage at a gay bar, removing your clothing and accepting money. Now, that's not entirely illegal, as the Child Protective Services have deemed. But many people are concerned by the escalation in what this child is doing. From Town Hall, why I reported the case of an 11 year old drag queen to Child Protective Services. This is from January 29th of this year. Karen Cataline writes, Good Morning America recently hosted an 11 year old drag kid known as Desmond is Amazing. Desmond Napolis made a grand entrance dressed as an adult woman and danced suggestively down a red carpet to rousing applause. Desmond finished his routine, posed suggestively on the floor, where he was met with more wild applause. The two hosts called him trailblazing and courageous. Desmond's parents, Andrew and Wendy Napolis, were present in the audience. They have also allowed their son to dance for money and simulate stripping in an adult gay bar in Brooklyn called the $3 Bill. I want to pause here and just stress. It wasn't simulated stripping. Desmond actually removed his clothing in numerous performances. That is stripping by many state standards. What causes an entire audience and two hosts to take leave of their senses and cheer the sexualization of a child? If Desmond had been a girl simulating a striptease, would the audience have applauded so approvingly? There was a time not long ago when they might have. The story goes on to say, whose agenda is this and why is it being perpetrated on such a collective scale? Children are being exploited as pawns in the very adult high stakes war of victim and gender politics. Consequently, we are not only watching princess by proxy, but politics by proxy as well. As children are thrust into adult sexuality and adult political agendas, real adults are regressing into childlike behavior. The antidote for these intergenerational role reversals and the way to protect the current generation of children is for parents to step into their roles as adults and take responsibility for their lives, political attitudes, and opinions. They must also be educated about healthy child development and age appropriateness. Only then will their children have the best chance to realize and pursue their own individual identity and dreams. Desmond is not the only drag kid who has faced controversy. In January, we saw this story. 10-year-old boy drag kid photographed with naked adult drag queen. The story says, Young Nemes, whose drag name is Queen Lactatia, was shot by photographer Jonathan Frederick Turton on the spread. In the shocking photo, Violet is wearing nothing but a pair of heels and a small piece of fabric covering his genitals, as seen in the screenshot below. Now, I've cut off the genital portion of the photo, but this is essentially what you can see. I'm going to go ahead and say, in my opinion, this is absolutely inappropriate. I know people who are strippers. They're doing basically the same thing that Desmond is. As I mentioned earlier, they don't always go full nude. Sometimes they just remove their top layers and they do this for money. And Desmond is doing the same thing. Whether or not you find this acceptable, it is pushing this child towards adult sexual activities. But something else is going on that's very interesting. YouTube channels are having their comment sections removed, not because of the content they produce, but because of the comments they receive. How is it at the same time that we hear about drag kids performing and removing their clothes for money and children standing next to naked adult men? We have an issue where YouTube and the media is outraged over what other people are doing in the comments on innocent videos. Vox published this story a few weeks ago. YouTube has a pedophilia problem and its advertisers are jumping ship. The video platform has major child safety issues. Will big name advertisers force it to solve them? I'm confused, Vox. How is it that comments on innocent videos of families is considered a child safety issue, but children removing clothing at a bar for money is not? A YouTube channel called Special Books by Special Kids announced yesterday they have had all of their comments disabled, but this channel is entirely wholesome. The channel depicts children who have disabilities 
who talk about their issues and engage in conversations with the audience. It is considered to be entirely wholesome and uplifting. It's supporting of the disabled community. Why are they being targeted as having major child safety issues? At least that's how Vox has framed it. Meanwhile, children are performing on stage and removing their clothing for money. After public outcry, YouTube shut down the comment sections on videos depicting young kids, even channels as wholesome as reading books to disabled children. Where is the outrage in the other direction? Why is it that when you have young kids doing gymnastics, YouTube says shut it down, the media reports far and wide that these children are facing potential exploitation and major child safety issues. Yet it's okay for Good Morning America to have a child dancing in drag, and it's okay for this child to go to a gay bar and remove their clothing in exchange for money from the audience. Something is off here, and I can't quite figure out why one is acceptable and the other isn't. This video from Desmond's channel is from February 24th, and I understand that Desmond's channel is small, but comments have not been removed from this channel depicting a child removing their clothing on stage in exchange for money from the audience. There is a huge disconnect between what is really happening and what people are outraged about. Back at the story from Town Hall, where the writer talks about reporting Desmond to child services, they write, it is not against the law to be a drag queen or to dislike them. But the general public has been so bombarded with epithets like transphobic, homophobic, or anti-LGBTQ that they twist themselves into contortions to show their tolerance. As such, formerly reasonable adults turn timid and mute even when a child is being exploited and used. Whatever your opinion on the matter is, the point I'm trying to raise is the disconnect between what is or isn't appropriate. If special books by special kids a wholesome family YouTube channel is not allowed to have comments because of major child safety issues. Why is Desmond's YouTube channel allowed as well? I understand that Desmond's YouTube channel is small, but Desmond has been the center of controversy for quite some time and has been featured on national television. You would think that at least this family would be receiving more scrutiny. In fact, they are. Because in the beginning of the story I mentioned, they announced they were investigated by CPS, by various agencies, over reports of child abuse or exploitation. I can't say I'm surprised to see the double standard. In the culture war, there typically is a double standard. Some things are wrong, while well, worse things are considered okay for some reason I just don't understand. But let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll keep the conversation going. How do you feel about the drag kids phenomenon and YouTube disabling these comments? Do you see the same disconnect that I do? You can follow me on Minds at TimCast. Stay tuned, new videos every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'll have more videos on my second channel, youtube.com slash TimCastNews, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you all next time.